Moorhead prepared me in a number of ways. Number one, just having the exposure to college and a diverse group of people. I think it was my first exposure to Appalachian population and realizing that there were a lot of people that were living a life even more challenging than mine. So thinking about diversity, we've always said, you know, just get to know people. And I love the quote by Charles Caleb Cotton says, we do not know some people because we hate them, but we hate them because we do not know them. And so I think at Moorhead, some of the friendships I made were people that, you know, from different walks of life, but we found so much in common. I think for me to learn about Appalachian culture and then come back and start to get into diversity, most people think diversity is black and white. They almost kind of draw the lines about black and white. Well, no, it's socioeconomic, it's gender, it's race, it's all of these things. And I actually draw upon my experiences at Moorhead. It just wakes you up to the world. And I think that's one thing any college does and Moorhead, the uniqueness of it is, it may awaken you to a world that you didn't even know existed. One of the joys of going to Moorhead is you learn to find happiness. I say my life now, I move from success to significance. And I'm at that point in my life where I've moved from success to significance. It's about making other people's lives better and seeing people just be happy in smaller areas. So you can go to a UCLA or you can go to a big school and you're just going to be part of the masses. You come to a Moorhead, you're going to be a person, you're going to be a, your whole self. But again, you're going to find people just to find beauty in the simple things, right? I mean, if, if I could go back to Moorhead right now and, and teach a class and someone says, hey, why don't you come teach a class or something? I would strongly consider that simply for the fact that peace, man, I, I mean, I'm so blessed, brother. I'm, I'm, I get excited to tell you how blessed God has, has made me, man, just to be able to do what I'm doing. And again, thinking back to growing up on Rockdale and Burnett in Avondale or living in Maysville, Kentucky, and, and, and where I'm at now, man, it's just this is God, man. It's just nothing but a blessing. And once an eagle, always an eagle, right? I mean, that's the way we live it, man. So. That's me.